So I bought the Burn After Writing Journal. I thought that it seemed therapeutic. I want to review it with you guys. I'm hoping to do very little editing on this video because I'm actually having problems on editing. So with my editor. I do want to tell you I got mine on Prime. I did hear that you can get yours at Five Below. Possibly if you can find it. I have seen sites selling this for over $20. And I paid $7 on Prime. Be aware that Prime prices change. I one time reviewed the Ghost Meter and I think I paid $18 for it and it went up so high after that I was shocked when people were telling me how high that went on my um my original channel, my it's still my channel, my um main channel. So here the book is very cute journal. Um I got the celestial version because I just love the way this looks. Um people thought that these were gonna be real lighter real lighters um real matches. Bear with me. It's been a very long week. Had an infusion and just don't feel that great. So I thought that was weird. It did look like real matches on the cover in person. I can tell that that was definitely edited to look that way because it doesn't, it looks very flat. It doesn't look very 3D at all in person. Um, it did look 3D, but when I saw it, I was like, they can't really give you real matches with this, right? That just seems kind of like fired hazardous ask with the pages. I don't know. You tell me. Very pretty. Uh, great size. Let me compare it to another book I have. Um, this is a, a good size for a journal, I think. I don't think you really want a really big book for a journal, right? Love the look of it and everything. So I'll read the back to you. How honest can you be when no one is watching? Tumblr, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, texting, Snapchat, YouTube, the world has become one giant confessional and a reversal of this trend. Burn After Writing encourages you to share nothing. With its incisive questions and thought experiments, this is private journal. This is this private journal challenges you to play a game of truth or dare with yourself. Put your limits, reflect on your past, present, and future, and create a secret book that's about you. And just for you, and when you're finished, toss it, hide it, or burn after writing. thought that was a cute concept, like the name of it. And I wanted to go through the prompts and stuff. Not all of them, but some of them. Because as I was looking at this book, um, people either loved it or hated it. And it didn't seem that there was a lot of in-between. So I'm not going to read all this. Go through some of the prompts. My first, first friend, first love, first record, first foreign holiday, first kiss, first teacher, first alcoholic drink. Some of these I'm really going to have to think about. When was the last time you did something for the first time? I don't know. <laughs> Looking back, the music I loved as a child, the first thing I brought with, bought with my own money? I don't know. Can anyone really know that? Because at one point as a child, you got birthday money, right? And you probably spent it on something and you have no idea what that was. I have no idea. Oh, I know that answer already. So I thought some of the prompts would be fun to just go through. I confess. Nothing lightens the soul quite like a good hearty confession. Let this page act as your confessional box. That one will be interesting to try to figure out what I'm going to write there. At some point in my childhood, my friends and I went outside to play theater for the very last time and none of us knew it. I've seen this like on Facebook and stuff, that um, quote. If I could go back, this is who would be there. And this is where we'd be. Oh, that would be a fun one. But then that's kind of a sad one. So I feel like depending on what you're writing about, it will trigger different emotions. And I thought maybe this would be thought-provoking and maybe good therapeutic journal for you. First and last, the first word I would use to describe myself the last time I felt happy. The first thing I would do if I were in charge of the country... 
That's like not enough room to write that though. Can you see that? Okay, the first thing I would do if I were in charge of the country, and this is all the space you get to write. I'm not even showing you, right here. And then you could like squeeze it in here, but like, that's not enough room at all. So I do have to say, you need a little more space for certain things. However, I think you can make do if you're not too wordy. I'm a bit wordy. Um, let's look for another prompt to go through. Because my um, battery's dying. This is who I am. Live for the now or plan for the future. Everybody seems to have their own idea. Listen, don't listen. Be where you are. Be who you are. Everybody tells you these things are the best days of your life. So much pressure. They're all wrong. Be where you are. Nobody else really having any more fun than you. They're all just pretending. The things I am working on that is big. My personality in six words. I think this is good to learn about yourself a little bit more. You think more about who you are and why you do certain things. If I didn't know how old I was, I would think I was. If I could choose to stay a certain age forever, it would be... If I can go in the fridge right now and find one thing, five things I need in my life, five things I want in my life. So overall, it seems like most of these, you have enough space, but there are certain things you need more space to write things out with. You have to not be too wordy in certain prompts, which can be difficult. Um, I think that overall it's good. I, do, I wouldn't buy this for like, over $20. Like I said, I've seen some websites selling for over $20. Look at Five Below if you want it. And look in um, Amazon because that's where I got mine for $7. Um, I just think it, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to start writing in it. There's pros and cons that I can already see. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. Um, there's a lot. There's it's It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Do they have a page count? They do. It's 147 pages. 140, yeah, 147 pages. Oh, and look, it ends in my plans for the future. That's a good way to end it, I think, anyway. So, yes, I like it. I think it's worth it if you're not going to spend 30 bucks on it. Like I said, 20 plus. Probably not. Maybe 20 if I really, really, really wanted it. It's kind of something that you'd have to decide, but nothing over that for sure it does say it in the u.s it's 14 dollars though and in canada it's 20 so if i'm in the u.s and this says 14 dollars, i'm not going over that probably um i don't want it that bad there's probably other prompt journals you can find but um this one it's by sharon jones it seems like it's going to be pretty decent my only critique that I can see flipping through it is you're going to need a little bit more space in certain prompts. So that kind of is a little disappointing, but it's not too bad. I can't wait to start writing in it. I think it'll help me realize certain things about myself and it will be therapeutic, especially right now in my life with everything that's going on. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I wanted to add this in here real quickly. I'm actually just reading the disclaimer and all because I wanted to write myself in here and I got to the disclaimer page and they're calling it a cult. And I really like the way the disclaimer page is written actually. I think it's fun. Um, I enjoyed that. So I wanted to add that into my review and uh, now I'm going to go. I'm pretty sure. Bye. I'm back one last time, but I just wanted to say that I've been doing the prompts on and off for a couple hours now, and I'm enjoying it so much. It does feel very therapeutic, and I do feel like I'm learning more about myself than I thought I would, you know, that's, which is kind of weird. You feel like you know yourself pretty well, and then you answer certain questions in here that make you think. I don't know. I've been really enjoying it. I literally had to stop myself because, like, you know, you're doing a little too much. I mean, I, d I have a lot of pages that I didn't even touch, but there are, I also did do a lot of pages and I even skipped around some, which I didn't think I would, 
um, because I like to do things in order normally. But I wound up having to skip around because I need to think about certain questions. So there are some thought-provoking questions, some interesting questions. There are some repetitive things in here. Um, but overall, I think it's a good buy. Again, not if it is over $20, though, like some websites are charging.